I'm gonna show you how to create a retirement plan in two steps. Once we go through the video, it should take you less than five minutes. If you can subtract and multiply, this video is for you. Thanks for joining me. I'm Elliot Apple, founder and financial planner of Kindness Financial Planning. And today I'm gonna to talk about a very simple retirement plan. In my business and in the financial world in general, it's really easy to create a complicated retirement plan and there's a time and place for it. But if you're just looking for a gut check or sort of a back of the envelope calculation, this video is for you. So let's walk through a hypothetical example here about how you could create a retirement plan in two steps. Let's say that you want to spend $100,000 per year, and that includes tax. Now, that's a key part of the equation here because whether you have IRA money, Roth IRA money, or brokerage account money is going to depend on the tax situation. So that might require a little more complicated modeling, but let's say for now that the $100,000 includes tax, and let's also say that you are going to receive Social Security benefits of approximately $40,000 annually starting at age 70, so you've waited to defer that. There's good reasons to do that in certain situations, but that's something that you'll want to research on your own. Let's also say that you're going to retire at age 64. So there's going to be a gap of six years. We'll get back to that in a moment, but let's go through the first calculation. So you know you wanna spend $100,000 per year, you're gonna receive $40,000 in social security benefits. So in that case, you basically have a shortfall of $60,000 per year. Now, you've done the subtraction like I promised at the beginning of the video. Now we're going to get to the multiplication piece or the second step. So the second step here is to multiply that $60,000 times a certain number. And this is going to depend on the withdrawal rate that you want to use. So if you're familiar with the 4% withdrawal rate and the study and the research behind that, you'd essentially multiply by 25 times. So we take that $60,000, multiply it by 25 times, and we get $1.5 million. So there you go. That's as simple as it gets. It basically, you need $1.5 million, assuming that you'd retire today, and you only want to spend $60,000 per year. Now, the difficulty with this, as I mentioned earlier, is there's six years before Social Security will start. So there's another additional shortfall that we need to account for. Now, this is the back of the envelope calculation video. So what we could do and just say, hey, I need to spend $100,000 per year for six years. That's $600,000. I can add that on top of the 1.5 million that I calculated earlier. So I basically need $2.1 million to cover that $600,000 per year and then spend from the portfolio. Now, it's not a perfect calculation. We could take a present value calculation and discount it back. We could adjust for inflation because that $100,000 is going to go up over time. This is really a simple video meant to be back at an envelope. So it comes out to roughly 2.1 to spend that $600,000 and then spend the $60,000 per year when Social Security starts at age 70. So there you go. It's as simple as that. But I want to show you a few different ways to do this if you want a slightly lower withdrawal rate or a slightly higher withdrawal rate. So as I mentioned earlier, that 4% withdrawal rate translated to 25 times the spending. What if in this example you wanted a more safe withdrawal rate or a more conservative maybe is a better way to put it. Let's say you wanted a 3% withdrawal rate. In that case, you need to have 33 times your annual spending and savings invested. In that case, you need about $1.98 million saved. Again, just taking that $60,000 times 33 to get that $1.98 million. So if we need to account for that $600,000 earlier, you're going to add that. So you need about $2.58 million saved to account for that $600,000 plus that $60,000 per year, assuming that 3% withdrawal rate. So this is a more conservative way, and you can see that you need a larger balance saved for that. Now, let's go to the other end of the spectrum. Let's say that you have a shorter time frame. Maybe you're not retiring as early. Maybe your time horizon looks like 20 years. Maybe longevity doesn't run in your family or you have some health consequences. You don't necessarily need as much saved. So you could say, okay, I want a 5% withdrawal rate. In that case, you need 20 times your annual spending invested. So in that case, if we have that $60,000 per year and we multiply that by 20, we need roughly $1.2 million saved and invested for that. And then if we take the $600,000 from earlier, it's $1.8 million that we need. 
you can see how depending on the withdrawal rate you use, you're gonna need more or less saved. And it comes down to a comfort level, how you're gonna be invested. There's a lot that goes into that. So I'd recommend doing some research around that to getting comfortable with the withdrawal rate. Again, if you're planning on retiring earlier, have a longer life expectancy, something like that, maybe you wanna err closer to the 3% or 3.5% or something like that, or potentially even the 4%, if you're retiring a little bit later, maybe the 5% is okay. So I'm not here to tell you which one to use. I just wanna demonstrate how in really two simple steps, subtraction plus multiplication, you can get to approximately how much you need to have saved and invested to have a successful and good retirement. If you found this video helpful, I recommend subscribing so be updated when I upload videos in the future. Thanks for watching.